You already know who it is, the tribe. Happy National Dogs and Politics Day. On September 23, 1952, President Richard Nixon gave a speech that was called the Checker Speech. Accused of the improprieties relating to a fund established by his backers to reimburse him. For his political expenses, Nixon needed to defend himself. His place on the Republican ticket was in jeopardy as well, so he flew to Los Angeles and delivered a half an hour television address. It was in the speech that Nixon stated that regardless of what anyone said, he intended to keep one gift, a black and white dog. The Nixon children had named checkers, thus giving the famous speech its name. The Teelers have been raising money to fight ovarian cancer by selling t-shirts, bracelets, beads, and seal ribbons that can be found on telephone poles around the Davidsville area. If you would like to turn our town teal by donating to ovarian cancer, please turn your donations into Joyce or Barbin High School office. For every $5 we raise in the office, we will put up another ribbon in town. Don't forget to wear your teal to the September 30th football game. Bring your kids to the game at Winder Friday night to help with this cause. Come join us this Friday as we hold a pep rally send off for our football team this Friday before they travel to Wimber to take on the, on the Ramblers. It will begin at 4.30 and at, at, end at 4.45 when the bus departs from the high school. Pink out t-shirts orders through the Suns Club will be continued through Friday, September 23rd. Shocking, there, will, there has yet to be seen a clown spotting a CD. <laughs> Interesting fact of the day. Your chances of being killed by a vending machine are actually twice as large as your chance of being bitten by a shark. Here is the weather with Ruby and Weaver. Good afternoon, Cornwall Township, and happy Limber Week. On Friday, it'll be pretty warm during the day again, and towards the end of the night, it'll start cool off. We'll come out and support your Cornwall Township Indian football team while we take on the Wimber Ramblers. And then early next week, we're looking at high 60s, low 70s, get outside and have some fun. Now I'm going to kick it out to my lead weather correspondent, Weaver the Weatherman. Hey, how are all you weather buffs out there in CT land? This is Coach Z filling in for Weaver the Weatherman this week. What a beautiful sunny day we have here today. Not a cloud in the sky on the first day of autumn. I'm a warm weather guy myself, so I'm just hoping we skip right over winter and get right into spring as soon as we can. You can see they're working on the baseball field right now, so they got spring fever as well. Hey, get outside this weekend. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Hopefully, we were the weatherman's back in action next week. Here's Ford with Ryan and Mia. Welcome to CT Tri Sports. The girls' soccer team record is two and four. Wednesday they won three to zero against Berlin. The JV won two and one. Next game Saturday at Wimber starts at seven p.m. The boys' soccer team record is three and four. They lost five one against Berlin. The next game Saturday at Wimber starts at five p.m. How about the boys' junior high soccer team? They're now six and zero. Yeah, they're playing really well together. The next game is Monday against Altoona. Speaking of undefeated teams, the varsity football team is four and zero. They play Friday night at 7 p.m. against Wimber. Girls volleyball tournament is Saturday 9 is at Wimber. The next match for the golf team will be at Wheeling tournament on September 26. Thank you for tuning in to CT Trap Sports. Take a look around CT with Annie and Serena. I feel pretty confident going out to a four and start going in against Wimber. I'm going home for going home for a week. Should be fine. I feel pretty confident going into it. Uh, on offense, I play right tackle, and on defense, I play nose guard. It'll be a tough game, but I think we're gonna come out five and zero at the end of it. Thanks for watching.